production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Game Fire Network, www.gamefire.com. Why don't you look us up, have a post in a blog or a comment or a forum or what have you. I am almost live from the year 1944 and this is season number six, which means absolutely nothing. But we're, we're in episode number 61 here. Spikes versus Devastator, two members of the Clan RSA, and to tell us more about these guys, here is my co-host Vittensby. Welcome to the program. It's always swell to be here. I think that's a 1940s term. Uh, that's we have swell. Swell, swell, swell. Hell, hell, hell. Um, we have uh, Spikes. Uh, RSA going up against his clanmate Devastator. This was actually an auto match that was so damn good that uh, they had to save it just for the show. Um, awesome. We thought that we would feature one of Swike's games since he uh, just uh, won the uh, GR.org Custom Maps Tournament, came in first place with a uh, surprise coming in uh, second place. Last time these guys met up in the finals in the last tournament and uh, surprise took away the uh, Took away the win, so a little bit of a healthy rivalry uh, going up uh, between those two guys, and hopefully with the next patch we'll have a new tournament, and um, maybe we'll see a third round between uh, those guys. So Good without further times. ado, without further ado, that train ends nowhere. All right, we're at the five second <laughs> mark for those of you following along at home, and we're going to begin in five, four, three, two, one, on pause. All right, so here we go. The fire is burning in the middle of this poor destroyed train yard area oh my god it's russian the russians are in company of heroes ladies and gentlemen watch out watch out there okay well they're playing as the germans <laughs> and the americans so it's not it's not that big of a deal yeah so <laughs> this is uh, a pretty interesting map uh definitely one of the better ones if you include all the different maps definitely better than many of them there's the, the, the bird agrees um, and yes, I'm sitting here like some cheap pirate with a cockatiel on my shoulder instead of a parrot. Go figure. We have victory points here, here, and here across the middle of the map. Uh, sort of a standard situation, and we'll see how it turns out. We've got a captain and a infantry section for the British out first. And it looks like, is he not? Oh, he is building something. He's going for a third, a second infantry section here early in the beginning. Is that a double pioneer opening? It is. So. Yep. We saw a little bit of Pio spam last week uh, with no tier one, so this will be a nice, refreshing startup. But a lot of people call the Wreck Train, or at least I do, the uh, the map of fake cover. A lot of those uh, things in the center of the map don't actually provide any cover. For example, that uh, train husk hull carcass, whatever you want to call it, on the left side, kind of close ah. to that strap point, doesn't really give any cover. That's the one example that that comes to mind most of the other stuff does um, I think relic kind of fixed that up a bit but uh, a lot of it didn't actually provide cover back in the day but yes I that wonder train if it's, still if, it, if it's so big that I mean that particular section you can't fire over it so maybe it acts more like a building where it doesn't provide cover for things behind it but things behind it can't shoot through it either you know what I mean yeah. <clears throat> perhaps uh, we have quite a bit of chat going on. It uh, seems like these guys have already queued up all their orders. I'm sure one of our Russian listeners can translate what that means. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, uh, Spikes is moving his uh, <clears throat> HQ truck uh, probably to that fuel point. Um, not entirely risky against Wehrmacht, against Panzer Elite. It's, it is pretty risky to go that far into the map. Um, this usually map really you just doesn't... go for the plus 10 right next to your base. The yeah, there, usually the you, plus you would five do that. On the right. Yeah, yeah, one or the other. Uh, maybe he wants to secure the center, which, yeah, that looks like what he's doing. But um, yeah, this map really doesn't favor British because, as you can see, there's no high points on the entire map. There's no 16s. Um, and the only plus 10 fuel is shoved all the way into the corner um, on the right and the eastern part of the map. So... It's pretty pretty hard for British to fast tech. It's pretty hard for them to get you know enough enough of any enough of any resources out. But um, in the early game, so the the advantage is kind of mute or moot moot. Yes, at at uh, 
for the Brits in this one. Yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. Machine gun's tough too. Okay. The birds flying all around. Machine gun's tough on this map as well because it, it's it's so open in terms of there's not that much blocking terrain along the middle of the map. So if you put up a machine gun, it's going to be very easy for them to go in a wide arc around it with another squad. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Machine guns usually work best over in that, on the left area where there's some buildings that they can get into. Yeah, we're going to probably have a retreat going on uh, with that infantry section right after he caps, would be my guess. Either that or uh, Volks still suck as much as they always did against infantry sections. And you know, yeah, they got a 5% like damage increase in the patch. That's going to make a big difference. In 2.2? Yeah, wasn't it a 5% damage increase? The yeah. Car 98 against soldier armor? I think something like that. Like from 0. Yeah. 0.60 to 0. 0.65. Maybe it was accurate. Yeah, Devastator is uh, wisely pulling his Volks back. You really can't do much to engage uh, early on. So, uh, and Spikes is seems like he's kind of yeah, he's, he's kind of doing a little bit of harassment. I think that truck was pretty smart to put it there. Um, looks like he might be trying to get out. Maybe another lieutenant? I don't know. That would be interesting if he really wants it, it, to push could, tier yeah, one. Yeah, he's, he's not teching up because he's at 29 fuel right now. So if he was teching up, he'd already be he'd be way back down. Yep. So he might be getting another lieutenant. We do have uh, rifle grenades going up on the infantry section on the left. Um, Spikes has done a good job of holding map control so far. Um, no real good MG positioning up until now, and even then, man, that MG took half health, but I think that was the half damage, but I think that was the one that retreated yeah. uh, earlier. And we do have a trench going up. I'll be curious to see if we have Tier 3 coming out. I sure as hell hope not, but uh, my guess is probably see some Tier 3 age. Well, Stugs are certainly uh, a, a little bit harder for the... Uh, for the British to deal with than the Americans. I mean, the, the only answers they have to Stugs. I mean, a, a, I guess maybe a well microed Stuart could maybe do something, but I think it would take a very long time for it to actually destroy a Stug, even if the Stug took a lot of damage. But if you get two Stugs out, then somebody who's good, who's good at this, you know, moving the Stugs around is not going to get killed by a Stuart. So you're going to have to rely on Piots uh, or maybe eventually a Cromwell. But that's about it. Lots of stuff going on in the middle here. Machine guns galore, forcing a big British retreat. <clears throat> oh no, if he MP40s, gets into that trench, oh my dear Lord, God. That's bad. Now machine guns can relocate. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the uh, last thing you really want to see. That's a big, 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 big. <laughs> we know what that symbol thing. means right there. He's giving a big old smile. Uh... The, his, there it is. That was just going to say his best bet is a wow. couple well-placed uh, rifle grenades. Rifle grenades, yeah. And pow! Look at that. Oh! Wow. Why don't, why don't any grenades work that well against British units in the trench? <laughs> yeah, this double MG uh, placement, this is one of the reasons why it's extremely risky to put your truck that far forward um, against anyone, but... God, he's really he's really hurting. Luckily, he can he can go in that trench and shoot the rifle grenades out, and uh, hopefully, if one of them gets a good hit off, he's gonna get himself out of that. But it was well played by Spikes, experienced British player. Um, didn't panic, and uh, he knew those rifle grenades. I guess was gonna win him the battle after all. Didn't look that way for a second there. Yeah, I think we're gonna have uh, tier three. We got storms popping out on the field right now. Or maybe we'll have up to tier four, though, on this map. That'd be kind of crazy, the lack of fuel. Although he has controlled the far right fuel. Yeah, he's he's controlling five um, fuel points right now, including the plus ten on the right. So hopefully it'll be an interesting replay and we'll see some tier four going on. Um, that'd be nice. Wow, look at these ridiculously low Volks Grenadiers back here at the base. Very low health, trying to reinforce... <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> the both of those squads are like on their last dying leg. Yeah, and, and we do have uh, Sturm Armory going up. Right now we got 493 to 421 in favor of the Axis player. So the middle remains uncaptured as the British managed to rally forward before it could be completely captured by the Germans. Now we're sort of this in a lull. That, 
This is something that always interests me is why didn't he place his truck on the plus 10 point, the field support truck? You know, and we saw this, was it last week as well? It was last week, wasn't I it? When, it uh, I can't when, remember if it was last week. It might have been. But maybe he just wanted to get the captain and a steward out ASAP. I don't think he noticed yet that uh, there's a Panzer Shrek Storm Squad already on the field. No, I mean, like, it's, yeah, maybe, but... I mean, the field. It just seems to me like that thing could have moved over a little bit and parked its ass on the uh, plus ten. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And uh, this machine gun taking a big pounding, but uh, doing a decent amount of damage. I feel like it should be able to do more damage than that against British units or something. I don't know. I mean, it does more suppression next time, which is good. Um, but yeah. I feel like if you got an American squad anywhere near that close to a machine gun, especially two, because it, it gets more accurate and does more damage when you have two, right? So if you mm -hmm. had two squads of riflemen right there, it, they would have been already completely torn to pieces, and they would have been able to sit there and just use rifle grenades or throw grenades at it for as long as they were doing it. Just the soldier armor makes them that much tougher, huh? I have to say, up until this point, I haven't felt like this game has been a classic opposing blobs. There's been a lot of movement That's going true. around the field. I think something that Bone Dog didn't do well last week was uh, his harassment. Uh, I don't know. He obviously wasn't playing his A game, I would assume. But, uh, you know, Spikes has been going all over the place. He's got that squad on the right, the infantry section. He's using that well. He's been, you know, pushing where he can and, and you know, making ground. And it hasn't really been... Oh. Oh, man, Two shot at that uh, Pioneer squad. Heroic was... charge in effect here. Oh, those storms are in trouble. They're surrounded yeah. at close range. Gets off a bundled nade, bundled. but it's a little bit too far. Good yeah, try. Kill the, kill the but the heroic guys. charge is still going to allow them to kill this machine gun squad. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Turning over a machine gun to the British. Oh, that's going to hurt them. I wonder if that's worse. Well, it's obviously worse, but I wonder if if it's worse than uh, back in the day when the Americans used to get an MG42 early on. You know, I was just going to say, so you were saying about blob, <laughs> about blobs, <laughs> and then I look at the map and there's like six dots right next to each other. Here it First comes. First naval war for Barrage coming in. I bet in. it's going to land right here. That would be awesome. Here it comes. Is it going to get the same machine gun? They're going the wrong way. Ouch. It's going right on the VP. Landing? Oh, VP. Okay. I was that thinking was you some, saw him right around there. That was one Nebelwerfer. Jesus. I don't know, man. That thing is just... It clears an entire screen. It does. But it's, <sighs> it's still woefully inaccurate, which is the only thing that, that, that makes it, I think, at least decent. It's not super overpowered, I think, like the Walking Stuka. It just doesn't yeah, like do that it, much it, damage. It, 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 like in that example, he was actually aiming at that plus ten, mun the plus five munitions point where his troops were. <laughs> oh, it's perfectly fine, Bridger. I agree with you completely. <laughs> Listen, it's no uh, walking but, Stuka. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's for sure. Because even even if it does hit, it doesn't obliterate a squad in two rockets. They have to actually like sit there for it to do damage, and even then, it doesn't do quite as much damage. It doesn't do 100 to 130 damage. I know that for a fact. It does like 20 to 30 damage. More Here comes the next one. Through. Yep. Oh, there's two. There's a second one. Okay. He's moving the first one up. Where's he dropping this one? Behind the VP? We do have, uh, we do have armored command. It looks like uh, Spikes is going to go for wow, really fast. Wow, look at that spread. Holy moly. Fast Cromwells. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's about his only hope at this point. This is looking like the game from last week. Where's where he bringing Nebel this one? Is he going to bring Gee. it to the plus five further forward? I don't know if that's a great idea. Yeah, with the storms uh, around there, that's pretty risky. I mean, he's got this giant blob, but, you know. It doesn't look like that MG42 is firing, and it has range, too. You Where? See it? it? It has the range if you click on it. Which MG? I don't even see it. The MG42 on the Brits. Oh, Jesus the Brits. Christ. Oh, God, look oh, at all my... those. Yeah. I think a lot of that, that was that was a lot of the uh, British guys too. Look, most of the Germans survived, albeit with no health. But let me see, where's this machine gun you're talking about? Right there. Oh, I couldn't see it before. Yeah, That's if you right click and drag it, it it did have range. It's blocked. Oh, I can't do that because huh. I'm not on the British side. But uh, yeah, is it oh. blocked by that train piece? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. 
bad bad positioning. Yeah, I've had that happen sport. when I was there before. I think there was a big fight around that little stone p area. Yeah. Map control is definitely going in the, the German favor at this point. Uh, Spikes is teched up in oh. favor. There comes of, the fire. Uh, oh, another Pioneer squad down. Yep. I think he was really expecting Stugs, and there's no Stugs coming. So. Yeah. Stugs! Stugs! We do have an officer. Yeah, I just saw we got an build. officer up there. Um, oh, he's, he's fast building the stuff at the armory here. Haven't seen that in a That's long the... time. I, we've never had a replay where someone's actually done that, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was something that, I don't know, back in the early days, you know, you always wondered, why didn't anyone get veteran C? And why didn't anyone even bother to uh, get an officer to, uh, you know, speed up production when they were spamming 100 stugs and pumas? You know, why? Well, I don't know. Now we have it. So I guess overall, COH is probably in a healthier state. Um, you can mix and match a little bit but that's probably only because he's playing against the british and doesn't have too much to worry about as far as you oh, know, he's an got M8 a lot less units than the british i mean the british don't have the map control but they have more units by a long shot here comes the bundled nade ouch body parts raining and those boys ain't going home to frau or whatever <laughs> Spikes is did a little heroic charging on the left and uh, three nebels, nebels you know, on the field. That's something I hate when you get a machine gun that almost finished its last clip in the last battle. And so it's been sitting there for 10 minutes and it opens up and it shoots three bullets before it reloads. And I'm like, come <laughs> on, you just had 10 minutes. They should totally yep. reload at any point where they're not firing. Yeah, if they haven't, that would be interesting, like something that they uh, have coded in, I guess. If if the machine gun hasn't fired for a minute or something, then it'll just automatically reload or whatnot. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, commandos have been chosen. But, but then, you know, you'd be, probably be screaming if uh, it, it happened to reload right when that squad well, no, walked, I think it just it, If it hasn't been shooting for as long of a time it takes to reload, then it should just automatically be reloaded. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have radio triangulation it. going on on the uh, left-hand side. So, and that's very, very far up, but pretty well concealed. Uh, Spikes is doing a good job decutting Devastator's strat point on the left, which is gonna de definitely deprive him of a little bit of a fuel advantage because he's got two plus fives uh, linked to that location. But uh, yeah, this one, the the, one of the plus fives is still connected until this plus ten falls. As soon as that happens, oh, and there's the first stug on the field. You know, one thing I notice when you have the graphics up really high is that on different maps, the uh, the stugs actually have different Ooh. camouflage oh, yeah? painted on them. Yeah, on like Angerville. I did kind of notice crazy. that. Yep. I thought that was pretty cool. And by kind of notice that, I mean, yeah, maybe I kind of see that now that you pointed out. Yeah, you have to zoom in really, really far. I got really bored while watching a replay, and I was just like, oh, that's interesting. But it uh, looks like we got straight to Fireflies. Um so, it was a fast, slow tech, shall we say. <laughs> a slow, fast tech. Slow, fast tech, yes. So, he's building a Firefly right now, or has he just got a Cromwell command truck, so you're assuming his next one out is going to be a Firefly? Yeah, he's going he's gonna to have to wait another two minutes before he gets the fuel. Um, actually, probably another minute now that he's, uh, he's oh, linking. Oh, boy. Machine gun? Who cares about a machine gun? This is this is one of the reasons that uh, machine guns have become obsolete in opposing fronts and blobs have ruled. Is heroic charge obsolesces all uh, all machine guns? And I don't know if the uh, you know the fix to actually make the fatigue happen will do what needs to be done with it. I don't know. I mean, it's still gonna be able to charge machine guns with no problem. I mean, I would speculate it's not. I mean, you could take fire up, for example, and. Yeah, you were able to always. That was one of the best reasons to go airborne, or to if you were yeah. really having an MG problem, to not choose armor early on. You know, back in the day, to go airborne, fire up, and and nade it and dislodge. Um, so uh, it probably still will be a problem, but the British won't quite be able to spam it. And one of the reasons why he's able to use it so much is because he he did, did the uh, two lieutenant strat. So he's got two lieutenants oh, with right. heroic charge. I think one of the problems might be that they put it at level one vet veterancy, 
the heroic charge and yeah. it's maybe really, a level really two would be better. Yeah, or maybe just, you know make it do what it's supposed to do and then we could actually tell, you know. Yeah, that's so true. hopefully this patch will bring some He might lose his uh headquarters command truck, which Oh, he's really ignored the other care. Stug. Uh Firefly's out. That's uh, Stug's. Uh -uh. Goodbye, Easy. Stug. The Stug just doesn't do enough damage on a consistent basis to beat the Firefly. But the Firefly is... You can fire now. Jerking around. What the hell's going on? There it is. It's that line of sight bullshit on this map in the center. It's, it's a... Oh, that Stug's taking two shots. Could be a third shot. Kills it, too. No, he's going to back it out of there in time. Spikes has done a really good job scooting his men around. Uh, you know. Uh-oh. Never uh, really been caught by that OMG triple nebel blast to the face. Holy shit. Quadruple nebel blast to the face. We got four nebels yeah. on the field now. Yeah, this is, this oh, is tough. Man. A lot of, Stugs lot of are chaos. In trouble. Oh no, it's turning around. That's a bad Stug driver. You'll pay for that right there. Uh, well, you know what? The trade off was well worth yeah, it. Look at the that nebels. Right Ouch. There. Oh, and they even dropped the Piat, too, I think. Yeah. I think he's going to probably lose that Sapper squad. Just made it out. I can't believe we got through that flame with, like, 1% life. Uh, Firefly. He hasn't been able to completely set up his radio triangulation. Um, that'll be interesting to see what he's going to be able to take advantage of that, uh, you know, the line of sight bonus. He doesn't have it set up in the south. So he'll need to put two more up in order to get anything out of that. Well, besides a little bit of like a one millimeter fog of war bon <laughs> removal bonus. Mm. So. Here comes another storm squad. It, no, I was going to say he didn't lose the original. It's right there. He yeah. needs another sh another Shrek, though, if he can get it. That'll be enough to completely destroy that that firefly. You're losing a sector. It's just sad that, you know, that. Wehrmacht is so helpless against British infantry that they have to spam four Nibelwerfers in order to really put a dent in them. Yeah. And here we are saying, Fuck. you know, nerf the Panzerschreck or whatever, but then the, that's the problem. If that happens, then what the heck are Wehr supposed to do against the British infantry? You know? Yeah, either British infantry or, like, Cromwell's. Cromwell's take care of Stugs pretty pretty good. Um, fireflies are just... just you know, all the better. But it's end of tier and they're really expensive. Oh no. Oh good. He didn't get killed See, at all there. You know, I've seen a lot of people complain about gliders coming in and crushing um you know, beta that was a problem, but it's been fixed. I mean it happens. I've I mean people have complained about it, so I'm sure it still happens, but that was a prime example of a glider flying over storms I think the thing is, is when they die, it's when they're pushed up against something and they have nowhere to go. Or, like or by the, it, the it usually happens when the glider finishes its movement right on top of a squad. So mm. usually if you see the glider coming in, if you check the minimap or you hear it or you see it moving, you can usually hit the retreat or, or give your guys a move order to move them out of where it's going to wind up and that will prevent it from happening. Oh man, there it goes. Spikes is probably saying... You're a dirty, dirty man to use that many nebels against a clan mate. <laughs> God, yeah, that's pretty ludicrous. I mean, we got we got the fa face of the moon. Well, it probably wouldn't look like the face of the moon. It's brown. It's crusty. He's going after the command, the Cromwell instead of the Firefly. That's odd. He got a Cromwell. Oh, was that? Oh, assault grenades. That's not yeah. bad for assault grenades. Two kills, and one of them, was that a lieutenant? Plus it, 15 XP? I, I think it, it was. Plus seven, yeah. It was a lieutenant. Wow. That was a pretty nice trade-off for that, uh, yeah. for that wow. assault. This is a pretty even game. I mean, um, Spikes' infantry is totally crippled. It's just made useless, but unfortunately... <laughs> um, what, Devastator's tanks uh -oh. is completely useless. So, yeah, and now There's we have the uh, commander at the uh, victory point. Unfortunately, it's on the wrong side of the victory point right here. Oh no, no! <laughs> oh no! The Firefly got caught in an ambush. Five percent, five percent. Oh god! Yeah, both of those just got caught in a huge ambush, 
Devastator really well. Oh, look, well there's three Storm right Squads there. now. Oh, he's screwed. Whatever advantage Spikes had just went out the window. There's no way he's getting oh. that. God. Wow. Yeah, he was trying to go in to use uh, the 80 the 80 munition 25 pounder artillery barrage and maybe take out one or two of those. But no luck on that. That's a huge loss. That's game changing right there. His only advantage was really the fact that all of the Axis tanks outside of maybe a Tiger, and even that's arguable, was pretty much screwed against the Firefly. Not only did he lose, you know, all the veterancy, um, you know, points that he had already achieved, but he's got no anti-tank on the field right now. So I don't know. I don't think they're 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 screwed against the Firefly. I mean, the Firefly's armor is no better than a Sherman. It usually dies pretty damn easy. Well. You can shoot it from like a screen and a half away, so it's got really good range, yeah. and you can't really engage because then you have to deal with piots, and you might get buttoned, and then you really are screwed. So um, it takes a little, little bit of, a little bit of back that ass up. But uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> but a brand it, new lieutenant. It, yep, and the uh, squad on the right of commandos is uh, completely pinned. But they got the cap on the uh, right so they did achieve their goal yeah you know I was just gonna say you better repair that headquarters command truck he knows what's good for him bundle nade oh god just killed six guys I think that was most of the sapper squads too yeah we do have count it 566 plus 30 income munitions uh, so when this 25-pounder uh, already starts going off, it's not going to stop for probably, by the time he uses it, a good 10 minutes. So, yeah, we will see some... Yeah, we've got a ton of manpower over here, too. I think he's waiting for uh, Tiger. Yeah, and if he doesn't repair that headquarters command truck, uh, Nebelwerfer's going to take it out. Oh, wow, look what at that. Yeah, it's at, like, 0.5%. Yeah. Or it's, just 5%. Uh, it's, that thing is totally on fire. It's a beautiful picture. <laughs> the poor guy huh. inside's driving. It's on fire. Let me get out, Sarge. You stay in Let's position. See. I mean, here's here's a prime example of you know just how good Spikes is. Is he's gone up and had to deal with not one, not two, not three, but four Nebelwerfers, and combine those Nebelwerfers over the course of probably what. 15 minutes, maybe the first one came out. You know, it's only really lost about, what, if you look at it, six guys to one, seven to another, one to one of them, and then six. So he's guys. only really lost 20 guys. And, I mean, one ill-fated step, and he could lose 20 guys in it easily to a barrage. So, you know, he's done a good job anticipating. And uh, Devastator is definitely placed from what I've seen it them all pretty good um, oh man that's a nice shot from the tiger firefly open misses on its first shot yeah tiger's got to back off I'm just curious how this game lasts another 30 minutes this well, is, the, this is the, ally, the axis player is is gonna start having to lose tickets for a while that's the only way it's gonna happen yeah Oh, a rear armor Nebels. hit from the Nebel. Look at that. Like just, two just, of them. Two the, rear armor hits the on the Sherman. Damage. It's burning. Oh, man. You're kidding me that fireflies take damage from the Nebel burn? I think it did. It, it did. It I like. saw it take damage. It and did then, take and damage. And then a Shrek hit it after it, but that's interesting. <laughs> that's retarded. <laughs> that's another he way used, to put uh, it. used the 25-pounder already, by the way. I, I think happen? we missed it. Yeah, this is, wow, this is harsh. Not even commandos. <laughs> Not even commandos of piots. Yeah, this is chaos. Oh, Left man. and right, evil's coming in. He's got his, um, two of his triangulators set up. Does he have a third somewhere? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the fog of war. Not, no, he, he doesn't have the third set up, unfortunately. And he did move his field support truck. But it's still not in the plus but 10. But it's still not on there. <laughs> I wonder if you just yeah. can't get it in there. Maybe you can. It looks like you can. I would really like for, for Relic to change the uh, 
when you put them in a territory, I would really like like the territory to highlight, you know, um, not not the actual thing, but while you're placing it to go there, ah. because there's so many times I played as British. Well, not so many times, you know, it happens every once in a while. Like I'm sure Swike's meant to put it like, oh, you know, it's it's there, right? You can't see the territory lines on the actual map. So you don't really know where one territory ends. You got to look on the mini map for that, and sometimes you can place it just like he did, pretty much right on the border. Eh, border. <laughs> this isn't border. Mordor. This isn't this the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Commando's doing some uh, backdoor action. <laughs> Pop smoke. Pop smoke. Yeah, he's gonna drop some. This is wow. gonna be wow. Beautiful. Killed all five be volts. Propaganda war. No, officer <laughs> retreat, officer retreat. But here comes the. Oh my. I was looking at the other commandos. He got one of the Nebels. Yeah, this this map is notoriously hard for. It's easy to base rush coming in from there, but if you want to put your infantry anywhere near that base, like, it's pretty hard. It makes me wonder why is that bunker so far back? What purpose does it serve? I mean. It just covers the bunker placement on this map is just poor. Is all I can say. There should be like a third bunker somewhere around that medium munitions point. Um, not quite there, but it just there's just so many gaps to walk in. I mean, if you look at it. I got you. Oh, the armor Here comes the tiger, there. trying to rush in and kill the uh, headquarters, maybe. Oh God. <sighs> <laughs> oh wait a minute that oh okay that's the that's the Shrek squad or the, the storm squad I thought that was uh, a Panzer Shrek got stalled at some point we didn't notice um, oh not sure what boy what he's so afraid of with his tiger I don't really think he knows what's actually there which is pretty much nothing that could successfully counter that maybe a there's a Piat squad back there. That's oh about no! It. Nice timing on the Nebel. He knew he was gonna go for that sp that spot. Look at that. Ugh, he Sapper's got the, he got the Sapper squad too. Ouch. Well, it might be a good time. We're hitting about the halfway mark. Might be a good time to say the VPs. We got 388 for uh, who is that? Axis. Devastator. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Spikes has 232. Um, it's got a little bit of VPage, but ouch. Man, those Nebel Warfers. He's placed more IEDs in the victory point on the left-hand side, too. The ones on the right yeah. are gone. He must have blown them up at some point. Maybe they got yeah. seen. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There goes the HQ command truck, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is out of supply. The British player is not getting any resources, so to speak. Except manpower. Yeah. They're making babies back there. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's still getting 242 manpower, so he'll need to wait about another 10 seconds before he can call in another truck. You know what I, I haven't seen in a long time? Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, I haven't seen any replay. Has anybody used the Sapper Ambush? No, yeah, but that, that's pretty. Ambush. Yeah, the Piat Ambush. That's actually pretty powerful, too. It does, like, uh, first strike things, sort of like, oh, my God. Just as you sort say like that, that, they get, Bridger, you cursed them. I did? You oh, cursed those them. poor guys. Come on, look where's at the it. medics? The guy died right in the circle of the thing. Yeah. Of the, where's the medics for this poor guy? No, he's the heavy weapon. You're, you're back up here and you're like, go pick <laughs> yeah. up that guy. That's the heavy weapon right there. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the sap, the, what do you call him? What would we call that? The sapper, uh, the sapper shooter? The, the human cannon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like a cow launcher or something. Yeah, that tiger. Yeah, he's gonna. The tiger should be able to shoot the. Uh, the last remaining commando. Either that, either that, or the uh, the detonator. Commando's gonna win. And Nebel coming in. Why is he not retreating? There you go. Yeah, that took a while. Yep, and there goes the uh, IED in the center. Does your uh, tank have like a black camouflage on the front? The tiger. Yeah, when you zoom in, um, like where the, it's the, where the S zero three, it's like black, and the front of the tiger is like black, and the side is green. Yeah, it is green on this on one side. 
the left side. Yeah, the left side. Okay. And it's got a little bit of a pattern or something to it. Yeah. <sighs> Tense game. Yeah. It's now spikes. all dropping on the axis side real quick. Yeah. While all that was going on, I mean, with all these nibbles that he's put on the field, he's really... But now he's getting stuck. I mean, he really hasn't had uh, too much infantry to go around, and whatever's been around has been intercepted. As you see on the left-hand side by the strap point, the 25-pounder already just came in. Seems like uh, Spikes has been using that 25-pounder already to, ba to his advantage and been plopping squads down left and right while we haven't been looking. So... This tiger needs a little bit of reparations. He's working on that right now. Reparations? P. I. Yeah, reparations. <laughs> the slave tiger. Hey. It's not really anything to laugh about. But, I know. Uh, the play but on words was pretty funny. It, uh oh, tw uh, there's that could be fake Artie. Yeah, it's fake Artie. Devastator knew that. It's like I knew that. I wasn't just risking those guys' <laughs> lives for no reason. I knew that was fake. Yep. VPs are evening out. I couldn't even imagine. Uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh grenade! Ouch! Kills three of the storms. Pop Hopefully smoke. that armored command truck is that's coming in is going to be able to uh, put some hurt on. He does have the fuel. Uh, he Wait, does he have lost the armored command truck up there too. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he lost wow. the, all, all of his trucks except that field support truck. It's kind of sad that late game you never see anything come out of there. It's really like a mid-tier building. The armored strictly. command truck? Uh, no, the fuel support truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you only build more sappers if you need them, but... Yeah. They're, I mean, the British in general just have less units than the other sides, it seems. They've only got three buildings, and they've only got two things in each building. Uh, sorry, wait, no. They have uh, three things. Three things because they have the command, the captains and the lieutenants and stuff, but those guys just stay alive most of the time anyway, so you never wind up building more than one of them. Sometimes it's two lieutenants. Yeah. But as far as mainline combat units, they're they're pretty pretty on the low side. Uh oh. Curious as to why he built that stug. Oh no. Oh suppressed. Oh dropped. And there's the last one to finish him off. There you go. Now does the first shot of howitzer artillery also suppress everything there? The Americans are capturing a you mean the 25 pounder? No, no, the 100 and, the 105 oh, millimeter howitzer. Uh, no. <laughs> Just think it blows this stuff to hell. I don't know. It doesn't have that suppression as far oh, as I remember. Oh, oh, nice job. Look at that. <laughs> Commando squad down to two guys after a couple of barrages. But one of them landed directly on it, which got really lucky. This evils. I don't know. You know, maybe if the cooldown was a little bit longer, that might help. Not to change the way it is, but... Oddly enough, no, oh, I was going to say, uh, what, what he really needs to do is get some veterancy on those things. They're going to do even more damage. Yeah, that's, you know, you hit the nail on the head there. There's definitely vet veterancy, veterancy missing from the, uh, the tiger. Not like he needs it. It's got 25 kills and... Back at full health. A nice repair work. He's trying there. to turn on him with the stug. But definitely with the stug, it would it would have helped out a little bit earlier on to have. I mean, Comcraft Center doesn't even cost fuel anymore, and it's, it doesn't seem like his strat. He, how much? He probably got like four or five hundred fuel, right? But yeah, you know? six fifty. Yeah, so. I mean, definitely plopping in a little bit into veterancy. Oh, just lost three storms and a Shrek on the right hand side to that artillery. Yep, and with the plus thirty-seven income that he's getting, there's and with the three hundred and twenty he's got right now, I mean, yeah, there's no. I mean, from eighty to a hundred is just not enough. I think it needs to be one one twenty-five at least. Two Panzer really? Shreks picked up. And yeah, we'll see how he's the got three Shreks on that squad now. The <laughs> commander squad has three Shreks on the right. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I mean, people say it's too artillery spammy, and I mean, the amount of free and cheap artillery in this game is now pretty high. Yeah. Uh-oh, here comes a big shot. Ouch, blood spray everywhere. Gotta love it, gotta love it. 
I'm not going to question Devastator's play with that Tiger because it's obviously been exceptional. He's been able to repair it and keep it alive now, standing at 29 kills. But it feels like to me he's been maybe a little bit passive with it. Um, as you can see, that Firefly is now shooting from a screen and a half away. See, see what's going on there, Bridger? And the Tiger's taken, you know, you see that? Uh, let me see. Oh, wow, it's taking lots of damage. Yeah, you see that range it has? Yeah. It was shooting, well, yeah, so I can understand him being safe, but... Uh-oh, damaged engine, three oh, Shreks, this down. is bad. Yeah, Tiger's down. No way. No way. might just way. get into, this, into, the, into the bunker. Just barely. Uh-oh. Shots from the Firefly. He's backing it up. He's backing it up. He's backing it up. No, oh, no. Oh. Main gun destroyed. 5% bug. No way. Don't let that thing get away. He's chasing it. He's trying. Oh, there it there goes. There we go. That's, a, that's the game turner, perhaps. He's got that's a sniper his... now. I didn't even notice that. Interesting. We're going to have some commando already. Oh, Nebel's... Commando already. Uh oh. Oh no, he's running into oh. it. Oh, oh that's no. bad. That's gone. Nice. It was just inaccurate enough to take out the other Nebel. Oh, what the hell? It, it looked like that thing jumped. It did miss. Oh, it did. It so, got one of them though. I see. We do have a detonate me. I love it. It's like it's like the two the the 21st century version of eat me. Detonate oh, they me. saw it and they <laughs> killed one of their other guys with it. <laughs> Suicide. That's awesome. There's a big hole right there. <laughs> Lots going on in the middle. The tiger's down. Let's see if he's going to call in another one. Stug trying to run stuff over. Did a good job. Just got, looks like three men. Oh, jeez, but it's getting hit with Panzer. Oh, look at those I'm giving are... the MVP right now to that commando, commando squad with the triple Shrek. Yeah, it's got f 15 infantry kills and one. You should use that that one as the screenshot for the, for the show, don't you think? It looks too cool. I don't know. <laughs> Just these three, before they even get reinforcements. Just, you know, this is the yeah, like elite right now, take... German sneak <laughs> troops. <laughs> Nobody will troops. notice when we come in with them with these. Ha, ha, ha. We wear, yeah. ber we wear berets, and now they think that we are them. Ha, <laughs> ha. Or, or it could be the other way around. Be like, the Germans will never notice. We'll just use their own munitions against them. He did set up the triangulation, didn't he? I don't Come know. On, I haven't it. seen it yet. I don't know where the last no, one is. He didn't. I think he totally forgot. That sucks because you can actually reveal uh, storm, cloak storms. You'll see them. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, well. The cloaked blob of doom. Look at this. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually repair gliders. I don't know. If they're damaged, Never I'm not sure. Never tried it. <laughs> that glider's blocking the route. Look where it wound up. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. no veterancy. No. Uh oh, machine gun squad's about to go. Boom. Down one man. You lost two guys. Don't give me that down one man crap. <laughs> oh yeah. And by the way, if you, I think if you pop smoke with commandos, it it uh, makes them. Uh, when someone uses assault grenades on your commandos, if you pop smoke, it makes them lose the targeting of it. So it's like they waste their ability. Oh, it's a little that sucks. Tip that I and just remember. Awesome. At the same time, here comes yeah, the next cause... tiger. Let's see if it can do better. I mean, with the three storm squads that are there, it's got a pretty good chance. A level one veteran veterancy would have been really nice on the infantry because of the heal. You know, well, by any, now any the game storm... that lasts this long, level one veterancy on anything on any of these things would have paid off. Definitely. Up, oh, up! Oh, here comes oh, an ambush. ambush. Ambush! Oh no, that was poorly placed. But thank God for smoke. The grenade counter grenade going was back. also poorly placed. They're opening up with the Panzer Shreks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, the squad's oh, gonna drop no. them. Oh no. Oh, this could be lost the end. all of them. This could be the end of Spikes. He better drop a uh, Artie decoy. Something. Drop something. 
Pick up the Shrek. Anything. <laughs> there no! goes his HQ again. I don't understand how you survived twice losing your HQ. This has got to be the end. <laughs> Look at the VPs, though. He's got three capped. Oh, wow, he does. Devastator doesn't pay attention. Those are going to be gone in a few, few minutes. Yeah, they're dropping at three a pop. And HQ that's all truck his is infantry there. is, just those three storm squads. That's all he's got right now. Firefly's gone. And... That, uh, that Vickers always sounds so impotent. Or maybe it just sounds impotent because I know how terrible it is and so I assume that it sounds bad. Yeah, it sounds very odd. I'm trying to tickle your Sherman Tiger. I don't know why it's trying to, never mind. That doesn't make any sense Sherpa at all. Sherpa Tiger. Well, it's Tiger's Sher next Sherpa Tiger. Sherman. Don't hey, you decap know what? the strategy. The, uh, oh. triangulation finally got set up. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, right next to the, uh, oh, the yeah, carcass. What the heck are those commandos trying to accomplish there? Shoot the tiger? They're gonna get the... The two Shreks are still sitting uh -oh. there. Oh no, that's bad. Here we go. Bop. He's gonna get the decap, but will it be enough? There's just... He only got I the decap know. there? What of happened the, on the, the left? V oh, artillery? Artie. Must have been the Artie. Yeah, this is going to be a mad, mad struggle. Oh, that was a big shot right there. Jeez, your guys are right there just decapped the VP. He's going now. Looks like there might be another Firefly coming out, but if that Tiger engages again, which doesn't look like he's going to, um, he's not going to be able to get that, get that out in time. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's trying to use decoy already, I think. Nope, that no, was real artillery. Funny. No, don't retreat! Just move him! You need to decap that again! Well, I guess he's got two decaps, so it's not gonna move fast enough this time. He's gonna use the officer. Dun da da dun da da dun da da dun da da dun dun! <laughs> Finally, I get to get up from this fucking desk work. <laughs> get out into the field. What he doesn't know is as soon as he gets there, some glider's gonna pop out some commandos. That <laughs> would be like. Awesome. Just really <clears throat> awesome. There's the nope, double track commandos again. He killed the glider. Oh, he killed it with shooter. one pop from his pea shooter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is turning all the way around now. He's finally got yeah, we, enough infantry on the field. We do have a firefly on the field. One dude. That's all that Spikes has back at his base, and that uh, wow. <laughs> the, the commando squad. Oh boy. Well, yeah. I don't know, Bridger. This is the time where we say place your bets. I think we want Spikes to win. I mean, I know I do. After all this crazy, you know, surviving those nibbles for this long is God-given micro. He's or... capping while cloaked, that crazy guy. He's trying to crush. <laughs> Here comes a... Oh, I, I hate when they miss point blank sometimes, but I guess it's okay. Oh, God. It's nibbles. Ugh. <sighs> He's blocking. Like, run right into my stormtroopers, please, and run very slowly. Ouch. Uh, that, that's, that's what we nice call That's nice tiger good micro good. right there. Look at this. That is good micro. No, you can't retreat. No, I'm not going to let you. Uh-uh. It's, it's funny. Happen. They're actually firing their Shreks. He's going to lose that. that tiger. He's going to lose that tiger. We got commanders. The, the, perhaps the defining battle in the center being played out. We weren't even looking. Oh, another and Panzer picked Shrek picked Shrek. up. Damaged engine. Oh, no way. God. What he had this. Way. How did this happen? Spikes has pulled out of death out of this one at least seven times. I mean, you could probably count it. Every five minutes there was another. Well, you know, he's lost his HQ truck, or, you know, he's and got uh, no the, infantry on the field. And what's with the tiger freaking shot bouncing off the front of the Sherman? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Well, he's got all the victory points, though. It's counting down pretty quickly for the ally or for the Axis here, in favor of yep. the Axis. He's not panicking, which is good. He realizes, okay, I got time to retreat and reinforce, and you know, I don't need to be doing what 
what Devastator is doing, uh, and I think his captain just got owned, or the officer just got owned on the left hand side by the Artie Barrage of the fuel point. I yeah. Think it was decap I saw the crane moving when I got over there. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. What is he doing with this firefly? Oh, they all ran into it because they were stuck. They couldn't get across that little inlet. <laughs> Oh, man. No, don't turn around. Oh. Don't turn around. Wait, I didn't say that. Oh, man. Bridger, that dates you and dates me, too. Ace of base. Yeah, Ace of base. <laughs> We're just a wee lad. Here, about comes, to regular, here comes assault. Assault grenades. Oh, he got him to fall oh, off of it no, early enough. No, Look at that. No, no. You pop smoke. Pop smoke. He doesn't know about your cool trick. He's losing it. He's losing it. Ouch. The middle's still in control of the axis. VP on the left is getting uh, decal. I think this is the best replay we've had on the show in a so while. It definitely, it's very close. They keep eliminating each other's massive amounts of troops. And oh, no, new tiger. It's okay. I got another one. <laughs> oh, the firefly gets the first shot onto the rear right at the beginning. As soon as it pops yeah. out. Uh oh, watch yep. out! Might be a damaged engine here. We're close. Miss. Already oh, coming down. Already is coming down. Finally, you guess the new warfare. Yeah. Boom, boom. Commando's coming in on the right, perhaps for the the final decap. <laughs> I mean, at this point, if he just spams, you know, tigers and Panzer fours. Oh, uh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Cough the VP. MP44s on the left hand side of Storms going up against the Commandos. Yeah. This is gonna. Uh, MP44s yeah. are actually holding up pretty decent against Commandos. Uh oh, there's the Firefly trying to get away. It's running, it's running, it's around the cliff. Oh no, is the Tiger gonna get there in time? It's trying to cross. No, it's out of range, baby. It's out of range. That's a road, that's why. Tiger says, yep. damn, screw this. This one's going to Devastator. There's no way he's going to... That Spikes can't the decap. He just called in the gliders and... Yep. What is that? Oh, oh wait a minute. He spotted the detector, left. but they didn't shoot at it. Far at left. That. They ran right by it. Far left. Something's going to happen. Uh, he's out of already. Let's see. Out of munitions or out of cooldown? Out of munitions. Yeah, MP44 is coming through the center. Well, I gotta say, this was well played <laughs> by both sides. Yep. There we go, look at that. Uh, look at those MP44s this... doing some decent damage against com commandos. That's your counter right there. If you don't want to go... Uh... <laughs> the Firefly, at insult to injury, just blew up his own glider, so now he can't reinforce <laughs> it. got a there. damage engine from the Nebel. Oh, the Nebel killed it! Look at that! That's the it's second... <laughs> Where's the Nebel that did that? There it is. It's got think... one infantry ki one vehicle kill. <laughs> so stupid. Why should that do damage like it's doing to fireflies? What is it like a light vehicle all of a sudden? And look, here maybe here's the problem with commandos. They f they fire like fifty or sixty rounds before they have to reload. They're just constantly shooting. I don't even think they reload. They I might just not think reload. They're... They don't have a reload they just, timer. They just go. Yeah, the forever. gun itself manufactures bullets out of the organic compounds of the air. Nice. Here comes the yep. MP44 forward here again. Here comes the GG as well. Decap in the middle, that's going to speed it up. <sighs> wow. Three commandos walking to their death. Well, we do have the commandos on the left-hand side. This could be a last-minute steal. Could be. Just might be. In a minute, we'll have enough arty. Uh, enough arty. We'll have enough munitions for arty, and we'll have enough uh, manpower. Let's see. First, he got the countdown to uh, to the. Uh, wow, you can tell my the brain. Same now. Seriously, dead. Um, yes, we might. Ha he got the. Uh, what do you call it? The cap off. He took his cap off. <laughs> 
My cap is off to you, sir. Is that what you yeah. Mean? Yeah. Wow. He's not gonna get it down before. It's Ouch. tied. Look at that. Tie ball game. <laughs> the uh, the tiger doesn't make it a tie though. He should be moving that back to the center. But I think he just wants to defend that VP while he caps some of the others with his infantry. Yep. Grenade going in. Assault. Oh, there he did. He saw it. He used assault, yeah. and then he pops. This could be the punk of all punks. He uh -oh. could be going. Kill. Dropped a Panzer Shrek again, but here comes the MP44 guys. Uh uh. I've got my own uh, blob to deal with. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh no. It? He nibbled his own guys. They're stunned. And here co Oh, that was decoy already. Never mind. I was. <laughs> that would have been terrible. <laughs> I was waiting yeah. for him to. Uh, for the for the artillery the actual artillery to drop onto these uh, suppressed units. Wow. Thirty one points. It's getting down there now. <laughs> Both sides of it's such little on the actual field. Yeah. Uh oh, Firefly is going on to the right. Ouch. He's trying to get in range but out of range at the same time. He's this is probably the correct spot. If he's in range. He probably can't see it, though. He needs yeah, to get that upgrade. In order to yeah. see at maximum distance. Commander's in the center. Ouch. Bundled nade. Gonna kill three of them. Yep. Ouch. Yep, that's gonna be the end. 12 VPs, wow. yeah. I haven't seen a replay like this in a while. That was pretty intense all the way through. All the way through. All the way through. Definitely, I think uh, Spikes didn't get uh, that earlier, the triangulation. That, yeah, that probably that hurt, hurt him. And I don't hurt think he quite. put it in the most oppor in opportune spot. If he had put it way down in the bottom corner, he could have opened up a little bit more. I mean, the, the last one that he did. Yeah, it seemed like it was he had the two set up. He definitely had the one on the left and, you know, for a, a, quite a while the one on the right. And the last one he put, I mean, I don't even know when, but uh, it couldn't have been too long ago. I think yeah. it was somewhere right around the time that, that uh, the Firefly actually died. So it was probably about 10 minutes ago. And he could have seen all the cloak storms and pretty much everything that was coming into the center of the map and would have definitely perhaps given him that 44 VP advantage that he really needed. But <laughs> geez, to, even, to even live this long against all that Nebel Warfare crap garbage. And that is and, why oh. the British are overpowered. Thank you. No. Uh, just, <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't know what this game says. I'm not even going to try and speculate. It was just ridiculous. Two HQs gone, two Tigers down. I guess that's equivalent. Nebel's out the ass, and that's about the end of it. All right. I guess uh, that about wraps it up. Another Tales of Heroes number 61 here is over. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Check out everything on GameFire.com. You know what to do. GameFire.com. G-A-M-E-F-I-R-E.com. Thanks. Thanks.